and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tech TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today I'm going to show you how to import photos into iPhoto on Mac. So obviously you want to get your photos onto a computer so that you can have them backed up, and on top of that you want to free up some storage space on your camera so that you can take more pictures. So let's import some pictures into iPhoto. So I've got my camera here. And sometimes if you have a computer, a Mac that has a card reader, you can actually take out the SD card and insert it directly into your Mac. But for today, most computers, you'll be able to use your USB cable and your camera. And then what you do is you just connect it right to your Mac. So once you're plugged in, you should see the camera as a disk drive on your desktop. So ours doesn't have a name, but that's okay. You can see it's right here. So what we're gonna do is sometimes it'll automatically open iPhoto and sometimes it won't. It depends on what your settings are. Mine is set to not open iPhoto automatically, so I'm gonna go and open iPhoto. So once we've opened up iPhoto, you can see by default, it automatically opens up the camera first. So you can see all the different pictures we've taken here. And I would like to choose only a certain section of pictures as one event. And a lot of times on your camera, you'll have the same issue. You'll go to one place and take pictures and another place and take pictures and maybe another place before you actually import them. So you don't want to import them all as the same event, of course. You want to be able to find them very easily. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to just select a whole bunch of pictures. I like these four right here. They're really nice and maybe these two. And after that, we are going to give it an event name. And that was taken at a very nice coffee shop here in Santa Monica. So I'm going to name it Balcony Coffee. And once that's done, all I have to do is click on Import Selected, which will import only the photos that I've chosen. Once that's done, you can see it will give you a status bar and it will tell you it's preparing to import. At this point, you will see a pop-up message come up saying, delete photos on your camera. It'll say, Six photos were successfully imported into iPhoto and you will have the option to either delete them or you can keep the photos on your camera. We're not going to be using them anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and delete them. So once we do that, you don't even have to worry about going into your camera and deleting all the pictures individually. It's already done for you in iPhoto. Now if you don't want to pick just a few pictures to import and you want to import everything on your SD card, you can actually do that by just clicking the blue import all button in the upper right side on your iPhoto screen. And that's it. Now that your photos are on iPhoto, you can do all kinds of things with them like share them with friends via email. You can actually also make books in iPhoto, which is really neat if you maybe have a wedding album or an event that you'd like to make an actual physical book out of, you can design that in iPhoto and then order it online. It's pretty amazing stuff, but that's how to import your photos into iPhoto. That's been Just Show Me on Tekka TV. I'm Ashley Esqueda, and we'll see you next time.